Hello friends, welcome back to our learning videos. So we will start with week 1 proceedings. As I mentioned, week 1 is a warm up week. So in this week, we will be learning about what is Python language, what is its significance, how to use Google Collaboratory to start and writing the first program, then what are the different Python variables, data types and operators. Let's begin. Let's try understanding what a programming language is. Right. In the meanwhile, can you please type in the chat box the name of the programming languages that you know? I will wait for 30 seconds. Please type the name of the programming languages language that you know. Excellent. You must have typed different programming languages. Let's understand what a program is. A program is a set of instruction written in a particular language in order to tell the computer or a machine to do a particular task or a set of tasks. Which implies that I have to make my machine to understand what I intend the machine to do. The way I am talking in English or Canada or Telugu to communicate with you, I need to I need a language in order to communicate with the computer or a machine. That's the programming language. If you look at various types of programming languages, it can be considered low level language, mid level language, and high level language. Examples for each of them are for the low level language, I can have binary language or assembly language. Machine can understand only the binary language. It can talk to the other machine or to the person only in terms of zeros and ones, which is extremely difficult for a human being to understand. The other example of a low level language is assembly language, where instead of talking in terms of zeros and ones, I talk in terms of some keywords which are called as mnemonics. While on the other hand, the mid-level language refers to some languages like C, C++, which are neither talking in terms of binary and assembly nor in the high-level language. The examples of high-level language is Python, C hash, Java, Ruby are all the examples for high level languages. Why do we re require this classification? If we talk in terms of friendliness, this low level language is more of machine friendly, while high level language is of user friendly. Having understood all these things, let's try understanding about Python. As I mentioned, Python is a high level language and believe me, this is one of the easiest programming language as well, the most powerful language. So, the machine level Python has various applications including in the field of machine learning, graphical user interface, web applications, game development, multimedia, image processing and what not. There are many many applications of Python. So ready to learn such a powerful programming language? Yes, get set go. So in the next video, let's set up Google Colab to write our first Python program. Are you all excited? Yes. See you in the next video. Thank you.